Hello, friends. My name is Kathy, and I'd like to welcome you to the conservatory at Mathai Botanical Gardens, where I'm a docent. I'm standing in one of the three large rooms of the conservatory, known as the Tempered House. The plants in this room come from all over the world. The thing they have in common is that they live in a place that has seasons, like we do here in Michigan, but in a place where it typically doesn't get cold enough for water to freeze. Do you think plants in this room could survive outdoors in Michigan? No, it's too cold, isn't it? Most of these plants are used to living where the summers are hot and dry and the winters are cool and wet. When I say used to, I mean that they have certain characteristics that make them especially good at living in a warm, temperate place. They might have a certain kind of leaf or a certain kind of stem or a certain kind of root. And these special qualities are called adaptations. They allow the plant to live and grow and make new plants in a place like this. Let's take a look at one of the plants that, and see what its adaptations are to the warm, temperate environment. This small tree is called a cork oak and it lives in warm, temperate places just like we've been talking about. Let's see how it is adapted, especially to the hot, dry summers. What's the first thing you notice when you meet a new tree? Well, the first thing I notice is usually the leaves, or sometimes the bark. But today, let's start with the leaves. Most of the oak trees I know of have leaves that look something like this. But this leaf, but this leaf, looks more like this. Why is it so small? Well, the main way plants lose water is through their leaves. And so a small leaf would lose less water than a big leaf. This leaf is also thick and leathery on the top. It has a thick skin on the top, actually, that keeps the water inside the leaf. Let's take a look at the back side of the leaf and see what we notice about it. It's much lighter in color, isn't it? And it feels a little bit fuzzy. Why do you think it's lighter in color and fuzzy? The back of the leaf is covered with lots of little tiny hairs. And those little tiny hairs have a couple of jobs to do. One is to reflect the heat rising from the hot ground under the tree away from the leaf to keep it cool, because a cool leaf loses less water. The other thing that these little hairs do is hold water and create a moist layer right there on the underside of the leaf. It's kind of like when the grass is wet with dew in the morning. Um, and all those little blades of grass are holding on to the water, all these little hairs on the back of the leaf are also holding on to the water. And that helps keep the leaf from losing more water. Let's take a look at the trunk of this tree. It has some pretty surprising bark. What words would you use to describe it? And how do you think it would feel if you ran your hand over it? This bark both looks and feels rough, yet at the same time kind of soft, like it would be easy to poke something into it. This bark is where this tree gets its name, cork. And cork is used to make things like wine bottle stoppers, and bulletin boards, and many other things. Take a look at this cut off branch from the cork oak tree. Here in the center, we see the wood. And on the outside, completely surrounding it, is about a half inch thick layer of corky bark. When that bark gets to be one or two inches thick, it can be cut off the tree by specially trained workers. They can do this about every nine years without harming the tree. That makes this a renewable resource. Well, that's how humans use cork, but how do you think it helps the tree to adapt? This bark is so thick that it helps keep the tree cool. 
and that helps the tree not lose so much water. Also, it protects the tree from wildfires, which can be a problem in a hot, dry summer. Thank you for visiting with me in the conservatory today. I hope you'll be able to come out to Math Eye soon and see this cork oak tree in person. If you'd like to see a video of cork being harvested, please click on the link that follows.